Flat six protesters in Ferguson, Missouri, have made it to the state capitol to rally for change. Good evening. The Journey for Justice march ended at the state house in Jefferson City, Missouri, today. The march included a few hundred people, among them Reverend Carlton Lynch from Fort Wayne. It's a response to the grand jury's decision not to indict a police officer for the killing of an unarmed black man. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday spoke to Reverend Carlton Lynch and has more about the march and what protesters hope to accomplish. Lamar. Well, Mark, they are hoping that people across the country realize there needs to be change in police policy and practices when it comes to injustice, injustices against black men. We're going to focus on bringing about justice for Mike Brown and a wholesale reform of justice in terms of policing. That focus was centered around 120 miles. Hundreds marched from Ferguson, Missouri to Jefferson City to send a message that change is needed in our police force across the nation. Pastor Carlton Lynch of Fort Wayne was a part of that march. Civil rights does not have to do with African Americans. It has to do with people. And there's not just been African Americans on this walk, but there's been uh, Caucasian, there's been Hispanics, all kinds of people <laughs> have been on this walk. A grand jury's decision to not indict then officer Darren Wilson in the killing of Michael Brown Jr. ignited a nationwide protest. Then the NAACP started the journey for justice. The four day march was an eye opening experience for Pastor Lynch. But the experience was life changing, even though uh, I would never want to experience anything like that. Then this afternoon, those who marched made it to the State House. They gathered inside to wait for Governor Jay Nixon. The rally continued. We were just sick and tired of being sick. He plans to come back to Fort Wayne and implement what he's learned from Missouri to the Summit City. Our mayor, uh, our deputy sheriff, um, uh, the chief of police, those type of people we need to bring to the table now early, not wait for some type of vicious crime to happen. Now, Lynch will be on First News Sunday to talk about all that has happened throughout the week. In Studio 15, Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.